everyone. My name is Carling Turnbull and I am a teacher candidate at Brock University's Hamilton campus. As part of the EdTech cohort, I have learned many ways to engage students by incorporating technology into their lessons. Today, I am going to teach you how to create an interactive smart board activity using the smart notebook software. You might be asking yourself, why create an interactive smart board lesson? The answer is simple. Interactive lessons engage students in the learning process, encourage participation, and make learning fun for all students. For the purpose of the current lesson, I have decided to relate the activity that I intend to teach to the healthy eating topic within the health and physical education curriculum. The following activity could be used in a grade one classroom, encouraging students to understand the difference between healthy and unhealthy food choices. This is an example of the finished product. Select students to drag and drop each food item into the correct category. For example, an apple is considered to be a healthy food choice. Students should drag and drop it in this, onto the smiling face. Once I select, drag and drop, the apple is accepted because the answer is correct. Likewise, if I are to choose the cake, I'm going to drag and drop it towards the unhealthy choice. I know that the answer is correct because it was accepted. If I were to drag the carrots, considered to be a healthy choice, towards the unhealthy choices column, the carrots are rejected because the answer is incorrect. This will provide students with the chance to try again or to select a friend to help them. While it might look complicated, these activities are very easy to create. I'll begin by showing you how to select the items that you want to use. On the left hand side of my screen, you'll see a picture frame. Click there. I know that I want to use an apple in my activity, so I've typed apple here and pressed enter to search. Since I've already done so, I can see that there are six pictures. Clicking on that, I can see the different variety. I want to choose the green apple, so I'm going to drag and drop it onto my screen. I'm going to adjust this side using the corner to make it look similar to the other objects that I've selected. To make this activity interactive, I'm going to use the activity builder. Also on the left hand side of my screen, if you look down, you'll find a puzzle piece. Select that. Currently, it says there are zero activity objects on my page. I know that I want my students to drag and drop the healthy choices towards this smiling face, so I'm going to select it. Now, I want to make this object an activity object so I'm going to decide to edit it. In the first box, it tells me to drag objects here to accept them. So I want to drag any objects that should be accepted by the healthy choices column. So I'm going to drag the apple, the banana, and the carrots. Below, I see items that should be rejected. This means that if a student were to drag any of these items, such as the cake, the pizza, or the candy, towards the smiling face, these items will be rejected. I can edit my settings on this column here. When accepted, objects play. Animation will fade out. This means that if an object is accepted, it will fade into the smiling face, just as you saw before. I'm going to keep it this way. Other options are to have the object fly out, snap to the center, or spin. Items that are rejected will bounce back. I want this option because I want my students to be able to try again. I'm going to select Done. You can see that I now have one activity object on this page. I also want to make the unsmiling face active. So I'm going to select it just as I did before. I'm going to edit it 
and I'm going to select items that I want it to accept. Unhealthy choices are the cake, the pizza, and the candy. Items that should be rejected are the apple, the banana, and the carrots. So I'm simply dragging and dropping each item. I'm going to adjust the settings if I need to. I want the animation to fade out when accepted and to bounce back when rejected, as we discussed before. Now I can select Done. Let's try it out. The cake is an unhealthy choice, so it's accepted. The pizza, also an unhealthy choice, is accepted. Carrots are a healthy choice. They're accepted to the healthy choices. Let's see if I were to drag the apple to the unhealthy choice. Just like I said, it bounces back. It's as easy as that. Congratulations! Now you can create your own interactive smart board activity. As you can imagine, this type of exercise is beneficial for many different subjects. Create a coin sorter for grade ones to experiment with currency or an interactive grammar exercise for grade threes to categorize nouns and verbs. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Good luck!